All right, so in this next go, we're gonna learn how to apply a regulator to an O2 tank. Um, what I want you guys to keep in mind is these two notches right here coming out of the regulator. Um, I call them teeth, and I want you to place the teeth inside of these two holes or gums. Um, and there's really on what, only one way to apply it if you look all the way around the tank. No other side um, is going to have these two, these two holes. Um, and Maddie, when you apply this, on, I actually want you to, to put it on incorrectly. Um, but on the regular, you're gonna have a gauge that tells you how much pressure is gonna be inside the regular. You're gonna have a flow, flow meter right here to change the flow rate. Um, and then we have um, quick connects right here for uh, CPAP or anything like that. So go ahead and apply um, the regular run. Correctly? Uh, incorrectly. And then um, the third piece of equipment you'll need is going to be an O2 key. So just by looking at it, like sometimes it's like crooked, sometimes it's too low, um, and you think it's right. And if you were to continue tightening this and then open the tank, so go ahead and tighten it thinking that you're right. So she's tightening, she's tightening, she's tightening, she thinks she's in, go ahead and take the O2 key. And then she's going to crack the tank. This is what you'll hear when it's not on. Go ahead and close it, right? So that, that's what you would hear if the regulator's not sitting properly on it. Um, and so go ahead and you, you've reclosed the tank and you're going to take the regulator off and then you're gonna, you know, try it again. So you have the two teeth, you're gonna put the two teeth into the gums. Awesome, and then go ahead and crack the tank. Great. And so now, when we look at the regulator, um, we should see the regulator is at a certain uh, certain pressure. Right? So right now it's about 11, um, 1100. Right? And now we have a fully pressurized regulator and if we wanted to apply any piece of um, oxygen equipment, apply the, the tubing to this notch right here and then you can adjust the flow rate um, all the way up to your designated all right, and after you're done, you want to close the flow. And then you're going to lock the tank. So righty tighty. And then if you want, you can depressurize the tank by applying your finger into that quick connect spot. And then go ahead and undo the regulator. And that's it. Good job. Thanks, man.